Good morning, traders. Welcome to this video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris Swarsik from Elite Currency. And first of all, as always, euro dollar. So we had a break of the bull flag, as indicated on Monday, uh, the bull flag respecting the 144 EMA uh, zone and 233 EMA right here, as you can see. The blue circle indicating that bounce. It was also a bounce at the fib, uh, this fib of wave four. So we were thinking about wave one, two, three, four, and up for five, and the wave four respected the 38.50 fib zone there neatly. So we got the break uh, above that bull flag chart pattern that indicates a continuation typically, and a move up to the minus 272 target there at 121.75. That was the first target uh, in play. And uh, now the question is, will it continue higher at this point? Let's take a look at the 50 minute chart very quickly. Is that wave five completed or not? And uh, looking at the 50 minute chart, uh, I think there is still a chance for price to move up higher. This is looking like a smaller wave four, so it could be a wave one, two, three, four, five. So that breakout could take price up to 122, uh, 122.12, 122.50 even, uh, if uh, if we get that push up. All right. Now, what if price breaks to the downside? If it breaks through these long to moving averages, uh, long to uh, yeah, long to moving averages 144 then I think there's uh, probably the end of the wave five and we probably have a uh, yeah uncompleted wave B. In that case, I'm leaning actually towards an ABC still because this break of this top was so minor that I don't think that completes the wave C zigzag. So yes, if it pushes up higher, then I think it could complete the wave C zigzag as we expected ABC like this. And uh, we would have an ABC like this here like that, red ABC and a blue ABC. And these two ABCs complete a bigger A and a B, and then I would expect another C down, all right? But if price turns here and starts to fall below the 21 EMA zone of the four hour chart, for instance, or the 144 EMA on the one hour chart, and price starts to break through uh, this support trend line too, for instance, and breaks through uh, the head and shoulders levels that we hear, that are now support, as you can see, they were resistance now they're support yeah so if price starts to throw a lot of momentum into the uh into the downside like that and goes uh, below the top of wave one here on the 50 minute chart at 121.17 then uh, i'm expecting a, a bear flag and continuation drop down to 120. and in that case we're looking at a red abc like this within a bigger b so for the moment i think the wave blue, blue b is finished here but if we break to the downside, I think it will extend to the future in, at a new low, okay? So in that case, we're looking at ABC like this. We're looking at an A, a blue B, and up for blue C. And uh, yeah, we're basically looking at an A, B, C. I don't expect this, just to be fully clear. But this is the backup scenario. If price, of course, price can do anything at once. Whatever I think is not important. Uh, price will decide and ultimately uh, that's the most important thing is to understand what price is doing and using those clues to see if if you know the current analysis is is still the most likely scenario right so if price starts to break to the downside then i'm going to adjust that probability for a bearish fall uh, but i don't expect it to break but if it does break then that is my uh, my two cents now, for the moment, I think it's keeping its head up here above support, and I think there is a fair chance of a breakout up to one, ultimately up to 122.50. It might go up like this on a 50-minute chart, flag up, flag up, maybe another flag and an up, and, and make a falling or sorry, a rising wedge, and then eventually turn around and uh, and start that wave C. That is what I expect. So let's see. So far, so good. I mean, we expected a bounce here at 61.85. We expected a break here. So let's see if this happens. I think that's the, this particular continuation, uh, you know, the probability of that is less than it was here or here. Why? Why do I think that this is a trickier spot? Although I have a preference for an upside, I think that the likelihood of this analysis playing out is not as strong as, uh, for instance, the wave four here or uh, the wave up here or to bounce here at these fibs or even to break here. The reason is because we're looking at a wave five of five and there's a lot of resistance here, all right? So I do have a preference for upside for that wave C, 
But I wouldn't be shocked at all if it breaks the downside and uses that resistance. So if I had to give a, you know, a probability, I, I think maybe it's like a, a 60, 40 kind of scenario, right? Whereas here I would maybe say 80, 20 scenario. Okay. So that's my two cents uh, on the euro dollar. Uh, ultimately up then down uh, should end a bigger kind of triangle or ABC uh, correction. Pound USD. All right, so it accelerated up to the next target. It hit 140. Uh, and then I said, well, this is a reversal zone uh, because of the resistance levels on the left here, right? And end of wave 505. And it's likely to, to finish uh, this, this, this push up eventually. And uh, yeah, the 142.50 round level. Uh, you know, pound has been very bullish. Uh, since since the Brexit, the, the in January, uh, January was here at 135. It's gained uh, 750 pips. It's a lot in, in just two months. So there's a lot of strength there. Maybe expecting some inflation as uh, as imports are more expensive, and uh, you know co costs go up, so inflation goes up, interest rate goes up. I don't know what the reason is for this. Such a pound strength, it seems quite uh, more than I expected. I exp saw the uptrend. I saw the the alignment here, and I did expect to move up to 140. But this acceleration up to 142.50 really, uh, really was um, a bit more than I expected, although I knew it could happen. But I think that now it's really accelerated to a point where a, a retracement is more and more likely, in fact, we already saw a, a push down, a retracement and bounce. So our video is a little bit late here, but yeah, this this pullback, you know, an, an interesting hook back, of course, for at least the ABC zigzag. So I think that reversal territory more likely. Uh, I would like to see a daily candle with a big wick, closing bearish, closing preferably, but actually below 141.08. If it does that, that looks like a big pin bar. Maybe a small retracement tomorrow, followed by a decline back to the 21 May here at 139, I think, or 140 as targets. It makes sense to me as a reversal trade. Um, other idea could be maybe on hourly charts, look for a break, flag, and then continuation breakout, you know, into the 139, 50, 140 zone where there's the lock to moving averages. I mean, I don't want to underestimate the pound strength either. It's been a fantastic trend from this point of view. Um, certainly stronger than I expected after Brexit, and it's interesting how that's developing. But uh, I do think that some correction is 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 likely here, uh, considering the resistance and, and strong move up and some reversal back to the moving average. I think is is increasing in its probability. So that's my two cents. Uh, in the long run, you know, once it hits the four hour, uh, sorry, let's say one hour uh, long to moving averages here. Well, it, it, it could still be, depending on how price moves, right? Is there a flag pattern? It, it could still make one more higher high. It could still be so that, uh, you know, this this is a wave three and we get a wave four and up for wave five. That is not impossible, by the way. Okay, so that's it for my point of view wish everyone great trading check out my SWAT course or SWAT ebook just 25 euros uh, and a lot of educational value there if you want to understand how I look at the charts and technical analysis cheers and see you next week